Yo, what's going on guys? Mr. Brood here. Today, I'm playing on my iPad. It's an older model, but as you can see, the screen and yeah, the size and everything is, is just a lot better than a mobile device. The even better news, I've got a new model coming and yeah, it'll be about a week away, so everything should even get better. Right now, I'm playing on my wife's account. All her leaders are under 3K. Uh, so it's actually a lot easier to test new decks when it comes to, uh, you know, changes in maps and modifiers uh, because of the level cap in place. We're in the Blackrock dungeon this week. I know um, a lot of you have been asking for Ren decks. It's a super popular leader in both uh, PvP and PvE. It's very standard because everyone runs the same flying units in this deck to make a uh, to make use of Ren's uh, leader ability. I'm going to try the dungeon this week uh, without any talents. So I'm going to unequip unequipped my talent like this. Because I know a lot of you guys are playing since the global launch and this is your probably your first Blackrock dungeon. So I just wanted to demonstrate this without any talents. Later on, when you guys do have talents, it'll just give you a huge boost. No matter what your level is, uh, right now, as you can see, the dungeon is showing up as green. It's corresponding to my team, uh, team level. So green is usually about one to two levels below the average level of your team. Right now, I'm 16.9. So without a talent, you should be able to go in and um, beat Green levels, still manageable. Orange and red, personally, I don't think it's that um, that much more additional value versus the time that you've got to spend to clear them. So, yeah, don't stress too much about it. Once your talents are unlocked, you'll see a huge boost um, when it comes to the, you know, the power of your team. Anyway, let's jump into this. We've got these three um, skills. I haven't played this for a while, so I'm going to have to read again to make sure I pick the right one. I'm going to try this one out. This sounds interesting because I do get one less gold from the Ren's ability already from the flying units. So another one just sounds so good. I mean, yeah, I mean, I could play my harpies for one gold. <laughs> Alright, so we've got stage one. Yeah, so these are the common units. You've got bandits, um, and I think the torrent comes around the middle here. I need to get used to some of the interactions without talent, I must say. So this could be, uh, I could make some funny mistakes, <laughs> so bear with me there. Oh, okay. I don't know if I got... Oh, I did get two gold discounts. So yeah, my Drake was... Drake only cost two gold. That's really good. I'll get my eggs down to block the torrent, and I'll need safe pilot to kill this mob. And otherwise, I should be able to... Yeah, should be able to clear this good. Oh, what? Torrent didn't lock onto my eggs. Interesting. Imagine if you had the mining ability here with the harpies. You could pretty much collect all these gold, like in a blink. I'm just going to get my eggs down. And yeah, if you had the flame burst ability on your eggs, your eggs will be doing damage upon spawn as well. I think I'll probably have to play some defense rather than just, you know, being able to push straight to their base, which normally you, you can. I'll have to do an extra arcane just to kill that. Um, I'll just let these things lock on. Fortunately, we're still two levels higher, our tower that is. So we're one-shotting the, um, 
Merle of Tire Hunters. I'll, di I'll distract this batch with Corbo. Corbo's really critical when it comes to distracting the bosses and units. It gives you so much value on your uh, harpies and world pegs. I'm gonna get my eggs down again on defense. It's okay if my rent gets grounded, I guess. Kind of use him as a tank. Sometimes you just have to take a bit, bit of damage on your tower to make sure that uh, you can build up a bigger push. There's no enemy troops there, so I'm going to go up and collect. I think I might just go all in and... Oh, wait. Nope. Never mind. I'll get my Ren back here. I need a defend. Yeah, I'll just play defense. I'll get my Corbo up, but I think this should be fine. As long as the Torrent or something doesn't accidentally get on our tower. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my game just crashed at the end of that dungeon. I'm hoping... There's so many bugs with dungeons. I'm hoping I... Yeah, okay, good. Uh, I was, yeah, hoping I don't get locked out from claiming these rewards. All right, we're on to the next stage. Let's see what we got. Three or less minis. Gain bloodlust. Okay. I don't like this. Flying me. Okay, well, we're running a flying deck, so we're going to pretty much just go with this. We're on to our second stage now. Oh, level 16 looks a bit high. I'm going to cycle my arcane. So I want to get back to my... I want to try to get back to the rend straight away. Everything you play, you will need to play the rend first. So it's always good to have a rend on the map. I'm going to try to crash pilot this. And yeah, I'm just going to try to get... Get some stuff... Get some stuff down so that, yeah, we can take some value off of that mob. Uh, probably should have cobalt, but it's okay. We're still alive. I'll let these lock on. The troll will kill your dragons so quick, so you don't want to let the troll ever lock onto your dragons. I will probably, yeah, crash pilot this and egg this just to clean up the mob. We're looking good so far. Yeah, I'll do this. We're looking good so far. I think it's wise to get two lanes before you start pushing for the main base. Always good to set up defensive eggs against AIs. Oh man, I wish I had the mining talent. I'm so used to the mining talent on the harpies. You just deploy. You just deploy that and then get all the gold on these gold mines. I have a oh, good thing we've got that shield ability. Yeah, that's a really handy talent, I have to say. I just make sure we don't lose our tower accidentally. But yeah, I think it's time to go in. I'll get one miner here to slowly take the chest because we're pretty low on ground units. That's one of the rend weaknesses. But you've got air superiority. The, yeah, there's, there's really not a lot um, that they can do. Easy stuff with that second stage. We'll just jump into the third stage right away. And I wasn't even sure if I can use these units anymore without talents. It just feels so different. I haven't played talentless probably, yeah, since the first two weeks of the launch. Let's see what we want to do here. I'm going to go with the spiderlings. Yeah, I'm going to go with the spiderlings. 
just because, yeah, we could do with some distractions against ground units. As I was saying, the ground unit is a weakness of Rendex. In this map, once you guys play it a few times, you'll know the key thing is to make sure you put one of your unbound units. So I love to do the cobalt or the eggs onto this little pad here. Um, that's where whatever unit that walks past that, it will clone it. And then a lot of them will come out from this escalator thing down, down here, you can see. So you don't want enemy units like Torrens or Morden Giants to come out of there. Um, so you want to make sure you put your lowest value unit there to block them. I'll show you how it's done. I'll have to crash this. No, I don't think I'll have enough. But okay, I will. Nice. Yeah, the very first one is always Goblin Sappers. Usually not that much of a threat. I'll get my Kobo to distract so we can take out the tower. When it's shining like this, whatever goes through will come out of the elevator. So right now it's the miner. I'm gonna just go straight for that tower. Oh, didn't he kill that? You're kidding me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight for that tower. There's a Morden Giant there, so if it walks past and it's not shy, oh, see, now you've got the Ogre. I was gonna try to, oh, what, the Morden Giant got it? You're kidding. Well, at least it's the Morden Giant, so all of our Harpies should clean up that six Morden Giant, five Morden Giant, so we should be still okay. Would have been worse if it was the Ogre. Oh, goodness, now it's the Rend, that's bad. What have I done there? I don't know what I did there, but I'm going to have to ground them, first of all. Uh, this, I think we might have to restart this game, to be honest. I'm going to get my miner up there to make sure the next thing that goes by is a miner. Yeah, see, this is what happens when you're not paying attention to the pad. So we'll just redo this. The only thing you got to pay attention to this map is make sure you control the pad so that not something crazy comes out of there. Here we go. We'll just get the quill ball down this time. Minor. Oh, even then we're not gonna get the chest. That's terrible. Okay, that looks good. Yep, so we've got minor there. I'm gonna try to Snipe that chest. There we go. A lot better start. So we try to get in there before the Morton Giant hits us. That's what you want to do. I'm going to, this time I'm going to save my Cobalt. Just to drop it on the pads. There's no anti-air, so I'm going to drop it like this. See, I'm going to drop my Cobalt like this. So what comes out of there is the Cobalt and not the freaking Morton Giant. Here we go. Now we can wait until this stuff goes by, and then next time we'll get a Quirrible, we do the exact same thing, guys. See, now it's shining. There's no units on the map. I'm going to get my Quirrible there, so the Quirrible comes out again, all right? Remember to always save your Quirrible for this purpose on this map. Unless you're about to win, and you can just use the Quirrible to distract. I'm going to start collecting some mines. Okay, this time I'm going to use the crowbar to distract because we have a lot of units on there and yeah, this should be game. That's all you got to do. Control the pad and make sure nothing big comes out and this should be easy.
Okay. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, I will be doing some videos of this deck uh, with talents or without talents. Let me know in the comment section what you want to see in the PvP arena in the coming week. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!